Welcome back to the Fire Alarm Guy, and today we're doing System Test 10. So now we're in double digits of system tests. We made it up to number 10. Um, let me open up the panel here. All the controls are the same. Power off, silence, trouble silence, and push the whole test. This is just to activate the siren with the key. Um, devices. Um, this Spectre Alert Classic set on, <clears throat> I can't remember what the name of the code is. It's a new one. And then Sturdy Candela. BG10L, BG12, homemade fire alarm light, and Simplex Test Station. That Simplex is broken. Well, the wires on the back, yeah. You probably saw that in another video, but, um, so for now, um, I'm just gonna be pulling the BG12, and then I'm gonna go do the test station. Here we go, in three, two, one. Now I can go reset the pole station. I got the pole station reset, and now I can go back to the fire alarm control panel and unsilence it. So my alarm key right there. And I'm gonna grab my keys. Get the right key so I can test the test station. There you are. So in three, two, one. So, well, I guess it really didn't need a silence since I could just uh, take the key out, but um, I guess we could pull the BG-10 out in three, two, one. And now I'm gonna reset the pull station. I got the pull station reset. And now I can go back to the fire alarm control panel and unsilence it. Um, do a little push and hold test. Oh, wait, and I forgot something that's new. Well, it's half um, working. I am, and I'm working on installing an enunciator for the fire alarm control panel. So far, I only have one switch wired up. It's the push and hold test. But you probably heard that sound a lot, this test. I tested every device. But I'm gonna add a disable zone one, which would be the BG12, then disable zone two, which would be the BG10L. But so, so and I might add some LEDs, so soon I'll have a cool enunciator here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.